So I decided to move out to Sacramento because I feel like Team Alpha Male has the, the kind of skill set that I need to improve on and make myself better at, and also just to piece everything together for the MMA. Every single day is super structured. I might train anywhere between three and a half to five hours a day. Man, tr training alongside all these great athletes, great UFC fighters, makes me a better fighter. We help each other out, so one person gets better, we all get better. Today we're working on some wrestling. He's finally starting to understand his mat awareness. He's moving really well. I mean, he's just a super athletic kid. He picks it up quick and he holds on to it. So you can't really ask for much more than an athlete. Having Sage here at Team Alpha Male has been awesome. I mean, he's a positive energy. He, aside from, from being a tough competitor and, and a good partner inside the room, he's, he's always spreading cheer. Get back in it, we're going two minutes. Intense drill. Pick up the pace in this drill, guys. Hit things perfect. Let's go, one, two, three, go. Being around Mr. Faber inside the gym and outside the gym, I've learned many things. He's always over there. If it's a class, he's over there correcting me, helping me out, making me become a better fighter. Oh, Mr. Faber's so smart. He's in the UFC Hall of Fame, so he's so so full of knowledge. That everything he shows, like just move like this way like an inch, or turn your leg, your big toe to the right a little bit, it makes the biggest difference. I've been trying to, to mentor what I can as far as uh, the fight game goes. He's got life figured out pretty well. I mean, he can maybe mentor me on the life part of things, you know? Man, we're doing all sorts of wrestling drills, great wrestling practice. I think we're about to do some live. We got like, got like 15, 20 minutes left, so it's gonna be good. Nice, safe, drive, drive, drive. I think the main thing I've improved on since I've been here is my transitions. I can mix in the strikes to the takedowns, the wrestling, the jiu-jitsu, making it all flow as one. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, Nat's one of the strongest guys That's what I was telling Nat's so strong. Yeah. <laughs> Sage is good, man. He's a really explosive, athletic guy. Uh, he's a tough spy, you know, keeps range well. He's got great kicks and striking, and obviously, he's building a great game out here as well at Alphama. Good job, guys. That's probably one of the most intense wrestling practices in a while, so immediately afterwards, I always see the Hickam Max. Mr. Lee Lebrada told me to take three at one time right after I trained, so he's got the Hickam, the Lucy in it, so right when I finish up, I just take immediately. I made my recovery drink. My fight is coming up February 18th in Austin, Texas. So I'm just making sure that I'm recovering right, feeling good. And after that practice, gotta make sure I'm ready for sparring tomorrow. He's always putting the right stuff in his body. He's conscious of the supplements he takes. He's real on top of rest and recovery, and then he knows when to push himself. So he lives that lifestyle that, that is lending to being a, a world champ. And I'm excited for that. Got changed up, showered up, got a quick little drink. Now I'm just uh, gonna get some weights in. It's a little workout. Weights have always been a big part of my, my workout, so if you have the extra strength, you have the extra speed, the, the extra explosiveness, it, it does give you an advantage out there. You know, I've worked with my boxing coach, Alex Gutierrez, since I was a little kid. This is my first chance I've actually had to be able to bring him out here to be able to train with me. Sage has very good athleticism. He's he has the ability to be first. Um, he has great reactional skills. He's like a sponge. He has a lot of natural ability. He's in the right place, the right team, and I think they're gonna bring it all together, and I think his future is very bright. We're about to do a uh, sparring practice. Today's Wednesday, so uh, probably get six, five minute rounds in. Let's see how it goes. It's gonna go great. A few weeks to my fight. Sage is always happy, even when it's sparring day. Dude. Usually everyone's in here like me mugging it, ready to fight. Sage is like, what's up, man? Let's Co get it. Cody's always pumping me up. <laughs> Nice kid in the world. I've always wanted to spar. Just the thing is, I never really had a gym with sparring partners. And now I get to sparring like I like. He's got a, a warmth that, that spreads to whoever he's around, which is really cool. And, and then he's got that killer instinct when he needs to, needs to put the smash down on someone. When you come in here, this is a dangerous, this is a dangerous part of the week. That's why we do it once. There's no way to simulate a fight like actually fighting people. All right, so I'm fighting Thibaut Guti. My prediction, I guess, is to go out there, put on a great show, be victorious, and uh, I'm always looking to go for the finish, so an interesting finish. Oh, yeah, that was good practice. One, two, three, two! In my opinion, Sage is just getting started. 21 years old, so the sky's the limit with this guy, and, and uh, I'm excited to be a part of the journey.